video editing is an art. And like any art, it gets better with practice. But don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn simple video clips into eye-catching, professional-looking edits. And the best part? We're doing it all using Canva. Let's get started. Open Canva, go to the video section, and select the landscape video option. This is the editing canvas. To demonstrate the editing process, I'll search for a presenter video in the elements section. Under videos, I choose this one as the presenter. Now, let's play the video to see how it looks. Towards the end, there's a repeating scene that needs trimming. The repetition starts at 9.5 seconds. To fix this, click on the video canvas, then select the scissors icon. Set the duration to 9.5 seconds and click Done. The video is now trimmed. Let's take a look. Now, I want to create zooming camera cuts like this. To achieve that, I need to track the character's eye position. I'll use one horizontal and one vertical line for reference. First, go to Elements and search for Line. Adjust its position and scale like this. Then, duplicate the line. Rotate it vertically and align it with the eye. To rotate it easily, go to Position, select the line, and set the rotation to 90 degrees. Next, I'll split the video where the character's poses change. Here's where it changes. Place the cursor at this point and press S to split. Then split again at this point by pressing S once more. First, go to the first page, right-click on it, and detach the video from the background. Then, go to Position, select Layers, and drag the video layer to the bottom of the stack, like this. Now, scale the video using the side-sizing handles to zoom in. Make sure to position the character's eyes under the two guidelines, like this. All set. Now, go to the second page and leave it as it is. For the third page, zoom in just like we did for the first page, ensuring the eyes stay aligned under the lines. Sometimes the videos may be not syncing well, but that's not an issue. Just download the video and you'll see it works perfectly. Finally, delete the cross lines from all pages. Then go to Share, click Download, and save the video. Here's the final downloaded video. Let's take a look. It synced perfectly. Now go back to Canva. Click this icon and select Create a Design. Then choose Video and Landscape Video. Now we have a new design canvas. Next, go to Uploads and upload our downloaded video. Once uploaded, add it to the canvas. Now, I'm going to apply a text behind animation to this video. First, duplicate the video from here. Then select the bottom video, right-click, and set it as the background. 
Now, scale the top video to fill the entire page, like this. If we check the position panel, we can see both video layers. Now select the top video, click BG Remover, and remove the background. And there you go. See how it looks after removing the background? Now go to text, add a heading, and type your text. Then scale and position it like this. Next, change the font from here. I'll select this one. To enhance it, add a text effect from this menu. I'm applying the outline effect. Now duplicate the text. Then go to position, select layers, and move one text layer behind the presenter, like this. Click on the bottom text to make it appear on the timeline, then adjust its timing to match the scene where she turns and points to her right. Like this. Now let's animate it. Go to Animate, scroll down to Baseline, change the direction to right, and reduce the speed. Like this. At this point, the two videos might not appear perfectly synced, but don't worry. It will look fine once downloaded. Now, select the other text and adjust its timing to match this scene. Like this. Next, position it on top of the first text, just like this. Now, let's animate it. You can choose either Typewriter or Burst. I'll go with Burst for this one. Now select Text Board and change its color to white. Like this. It might not sync perfectly in the preview, but that's okay. Just download the video and you'll see it works perfectly. Just go to Share, Click Download and save the video like this. Now, let's check the animation in the downloaded video. Now, let's create an intro animation for the video. First, upload the last downloaded video into Canva, like this. Next, go to Text, add a heading, and type your text. I'll type my channel name. Type the text twice like this, then change the font. I'm selecting Anton for this. Now change the page color. I'll set it to my channel logo color. Then change the text color to white. Apply the lift text effect from here and increase its intensity to the maximum. Now scale the text like this so it covers half of the vertical space. Position it on the left side, like this. Then duplicate it and place the copy on the bottom right, like this. Now select the top text, go to Animate. Scroll down to Baseline, set the direction to right, and reduce the speed to the minimum, like this. Do the same for the bottom text, but this time, set the animation direction to left, like this. All good! Now, add the uploaded video to the canvas, then go to Position, select Layers, and bring the video layer to the top. Next, scale the video to cover the entire page, like this. Then, duplicate it. Keep the duplicate copy on top of the original like this. Now, crop each video so that one only shows the top part, and the other shows the bottom part, like this. Select the top video, go to Animate, 
scroll down to wipe, set the direction to up, and reduce the speed to the minimum. Similarly, select the bottom video, apply the wipe animation, but this time set the direction to down, like this. It might lag in the preview, but don't worry, just download it and it will look fine. Here's the downloaded video. Okay, our intro with the presenter is complete. Now let's move on to the other parts of the video. Now I'm going to add this character freeze effect to a video. I've picked three snowboarding clips, take a look at them. Now add the video where you want to apply the effect. Right click on it and set it as the background. Then click on the video and reduce the playback speed from here. Next, drag the cursor like this to find the exact moments where you want to add the character freeze effect. Once you find a spot, pause the video and press S to split it. Repeat this process for all the freeze frames you need. Just pause and press S to split. Now go to Share, click Download, change the file type to PNG, and download it. It will be saved as a zip file containing four images. Check whether the images were split as expected. Sometimes it may not capture them exactly as you want. So if that happens, just take a screenshot while dragging the cursor. It will work properly, see? In this case, we don't need the first two images, which is why I split it four times. We only need the last two. Now go back to Canva. Add the video where you want to apply the effect. Head to Uploads and drag those two images into Uploads. Like this. First, add the first image to the canvas and scale it to fit the entire page. Just like this. Then crop it so that only the character is visible. Like this. After that, click on Background Remover and remove the background, just like this. Now adjust the timing on the timeline to match the video scene, like this. Next, add the second image and repeat the same process. Scale it to fit the page, crop it to show only the character and remove the background. Then, adjust its timing to fit the video scene, just like this. All done. Now, let's take a look. Okay, now click the plus icon to add new pages. Then add the other videos to the pages and set them as backgrounds one by one. Add another page, bring it to the front, like this. Then upload the intro video that we downloaded from Canva, just like this. Add it and set it as the background. Next, hover between the first two pages and click here to add a transition. I'll use the color wipe transition and set the direction to the right. I also changed the transition color to just white and blue. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Now I'm going to add a text element with a shape. Go to Elements and scroll down to Shapes, then click See All. I'll pick this shape. Scale and position it like this. Change its color to white, then add a border and increase the border weight from here. 
Next, go to text. Add a heading and type your text. I'll type Alps Mountain Range, but I'm not sure if this place is actually the Alps, just to show you. Place the text inside the shape like this, then change the font to your liking and adjust it as needed. Now select the shape and reduce its transparency by clicking here. Hold the shift key and select both the text and the shape, then group them together like this. Next, adjust its timing as needed. Then select the group, go to animate, scroll down, select baseline, change the direction to the right, and enable the reverse exit animations as well. Now it will animate just like this. Take a look. Now I'm going to add a bell sound when the text appears. Go to elements, search for bell, click audio, and pick this multimedia sound. Add it to the canvas, then adjust the timing as needed. Also, click here to reduce the volume. Now, all good. Okay, I just added a voiceover for the presenter part, and for the rest of the video, I added background music that I found on Pixabay. The voiceover text was generated by ChatGPT, and the voiceover itself was created using Eleven Labs. All right, everything is completed. Now go to share and download the complete video. Take a look at the final video. Experience the ultimate snowboarder game with insane tricks, epic jumps, and pure adrenaline. Check this out. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. More cool stuff is coming.